so students today i want to discuss about the concept that is collection framework in the collection framework you can say that collection is used to store the object you can store any object using the collection collection is the basic operation for example you can use the function add and you can pass any object over there you can use the function that is remove and you can pass the object so it will simply remove that particular object this both function that is add and remove returns the boolean if it add successfully then it will return true you can also get the size of your collection that is the how many elements available in your collection that you can get using the size let me give you the first demonstration of this three function so let me save this program as demo one dot java now i want to show you functionality of this three function so let me put this in a comment let me write here one class and that is demo one let me write the main function that is public static void main now here students you can use the collection framework collection is the interface so we cannot create the instance for example if you are writing like this collection c equal to new collection then you will get an error why because we cannot create the object of collection one thing second this collection framework is available in the package that is a util package so you can say it is a utility java dot util package it is introduced from java version 1.2 onwards you can just save this you can compile your code that is demo one dot java you will get an error and the error is what collection is an abstract and we cannot create the instance it means it cannot be instantiated then what we can do so we can call class which implementing the collection interface so we can say that collection is the interface which is available at the collection framework at the top of the hierarchy in the collection framework which has the two sub interface that is the list and set we all know that list may contain the duplicate and set is the interface which contains only unique elements here there is a one class and that is array list which implementing the list interface and list is extending from collection so we can call all the function of the collection using the array list class how let me give you the demo for the same here instead of creating the instance of collection you can create the instance of array list so here you can write new array list now you can call the function for example i want to call the function that is c dot add you can add any element over here you can add any data type for example if you are writing 100 over here then it is integer suppose if you are adding true over here then it is a boolean suppose if you are writing here that is for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 and l then it is a long number suppose if you are adding like this that is 3.14 then it is a double and suppose if you are adding the character for example capital a then it is a character and suppose if you are adding over here that is ask me a university then it is a string so you can say that this is the generalized collection which can contain any element over here and if you are printing the instance of collection for example if you are writing over here system dot out dot print line and c then the two string function of the collection will be called and it will display all this element as a part of collection you can save this you can compile your code java c demo one dot java but whenever you compile this it will give you a warning and the warning is what you are storing the different different objects right so it's a generalized object even you can hide this warning also and if you don't want this warning then you need to mention over here that this is the collection of the object right so i will definitely mention this and i will remove this warning also but right now i want to run this so i'm writing java demo one then it will display see here it is a collection which contains the integer boolean long double character and string so using add we can add any object see here i written that we can add any object but see carefully 
whenever you are compiling this particular code you are getting the warning and the warning is that is unchecked or unsafe operation it says that this is the collection and it is not mentioned over here that this is which collection we need to define here generic collection and here we need to define that this is the collection of object and here you need to mention that this error list is containing the object now you can save this now suppose if you compile this particular program then you will not get a warning one thing and the second if you are printing the objects if you are printing the collection object then you will get the collection that is 100 true your number double number character and string it means this collection can contain all the objects not only this you can get the size also and you can remove also for example if i am writing here that is a c dot size if i am calling the function c dot size then it will return me the total number of objects available in my collection so if you compile this particular code and if you run this you will get that there are six objects available in this collection Yes, there are six objects, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there are six objects available in this collection. Suppose if you think that I want to remove particular object from the collection, then you can call the function remove and you can pass the value. For example, I'm passing the value that is 3.14. Then this 3.14 will be removed and my size will be changed. You can simply save this and you can compile your code whenever you compile this particular code and run this you will get that th these are the six element size is six now it is a five and there is no element like 3.14 over here so this is the way you can remove the element you can add the element and you can get the runtime size also in the next video we will discuss about how to search the element from the collection and how to clear the collection and we will explore some new methods of collections so if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice trip